Good morning, Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Welcome back to another episode of BNN. I'm your anchor, Andrew Vasquez. And I'm your anchor, Andrea Salazar. Andrea, you know what I had this week? Hmm, what was it? Last night, Insight was selling some of the most delicious Spam Asubi at 1609. It was mad fire. Oh, and the hour frescas from those food trucks was so good, I'm telling you. Oh my god, 1609? It was so fun last night. Oh, and you know what I saw? Hmm. I saw a bunch of clubs there, including Spanish Honor Society playing Loteria. I won, by the way. Oh yeah, and the performances, they were so good. I'm the biggest fan of Dub C and Indoor Drumline. That performance from PA2, man, I'm telling you, our Bulldogs are insanely talented. All the performances and the food, it was literally like, like Coachella or a festival or something. Wait, did you just say Coachella? Yeah, why? Because Renaissance is hosting our very own West Coachella next Friday on March 24th. Tickets are $7 pre-sale and $10 at the door. If you own a Renaissance card, please, uh, pre-sale tickets are $5 from any Renaissance member. Stay tuned for some performances from Irrationality, Society of Music, Subliminal Crisis, and many more. I'm talking art displays, short films, and henna will also be available at this event, so make sure that you don't miss out. Our band and color guard will be hosting a competition this weekend on campus. Come and support. Also, let's have a warm welcome to our foreign exchange Japanese students. We hope that you're enjoying what Westco can offer you, and on behalf of all of BNN, we are so excited to have you here. Lean Crew interviews are still open. Make sure to stop by C4 for more information. March Madness has returned for the first time in six years, courtesy of our amazing athletic training, athletic leadership, ALC. The final tournament for March Madness will be taking place in the gym today. Curious to see who made the final battle? Good luck to B.O.B. and Barbershop Boys for making the final round. We'll check you guys out at lunch to see who takes home the final title. Man, Andrew, I feel like reading these lines every other Friday has really improved my reading skills. Well, you know who always has their noses in a book all the time? Mm. Oh, I know. Our very own National English Honor Society, NEHS. Indeed. And as a matter of fact, NEHS uh, hosted their 12th annual Read Across America, or formerly known as Dr. Seuss Day, on March 4th. Pfft, and they say literature is dead. Well, to be or not to be, Kylie Chow and Nicole Song and Rachel Leone covered this event. Let's flip the page and check out this story. This is NEHS's 12th annual Read Across America event. National English Honor Society's annual Read Across America promotes literature to young children and readers. Let's take a look at the event and see all of the participants. So what's something that you look forward the most to, like now seeing the vision come true? I think I'm just so happy to see the kids just so, um, just having the best time ever. I just read a story to them and they were just so excited. We were so worried, our kids even going to show up, our kids going to like this and just seeing them so excited and participate really made my day. What's your favorite book series? My favorite book series is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Now who's your favorite character is the question. Roderick. Roderick? That's a good choice. Now are you excited to be here today? Yes, I am super excited. What's your favorite activity out of all of today? Fish. So what is the most exciting part of being around kids and helping them out? Honestly, uh, I have a younger sister at home, so I think being around kids helps me release my inner child. And I really like seeing all these different kids and how they act. And what's something that you would want to advise future parents who are interested in next year who might want to come to this event? Oh, I would say definitely take advantage of it. Again, I, I know not everybody gets to experience these things and uh, really support our kids and see them have so much fun at these things. You, you definitely got to take advantage of it. What's your favorite part of it? Uh, auto class. Um, this really came from growing up. I didn't have the resources as a child with reading until I was much older. I wanted to be able to bring that to younger kids and then have our students and connect with the community and experience that themselves. Everything that they do, there's such a bigger picture and has a larger impact. Thank you so much to all the students who worked so hard in this event and the parents and children who came out this Saturday. And make sure you continue reading because it's such a gift to you. This is Rachel Leone and Kylie Chow with, with BNN. What a spectacular event. All the NHS members are so intelligent and super dedicated to their craft. That reminds me of a particular student who you may have heard was recently accepted into the Ivy League, Yale University. Well, this student needs no further introduction, but we're going to say it anyways. Fong Ho, on behalf of the Bulldogs, we are incredibly proud of you, Fong. It's a good thing Jacob Vasquez and I were actually able to ask her about this achievement. Let's take a look at all of her hard work. We had the exquisite opportunity to get an inside look with four-year class council member and top 10 senior, Fong Ho. We started by asking her what it was like to get accepted to one of the top universities in the world. 
So I definitely say that getting to one of the top universities in the world, it's really like mind boggling. It took me a really long time to actually like be able to process that this was entirely real. I had to keep checking my emails over and over again, uh, just to be like, wow, this actually did happen. Uh, and then eventually I, uh, my official letter came in the mail and then I was like, okay, so this is like, actually happening. And I really, like all the hard work that I've done this, like thus far was like worth it in the end. But it's not always so easy. Let's hear about some of our hardships, such as getting brutally rejected from the national college match, which is an application for full ride scholarships to any prestigious college. It was something that I dreamed of for like these last four years. And then when I got rejected from not only just the match, but just the very first round, it was like, completely like it destroyed my self-confidence and like my self-esteem so just kind of getting over the fear of rejection and like telling myself that I like I am capable of achieving good things is kind of like one of the biggest struggles that I've been dealing with this last couple of months. Some advice I'd give to someone who has similar ambitions as me is just to do what you enjoy. I know a lot of people worry about like oh am I taking enough APs am I doing enough extracurriculars but truly just do what makes you happy and I know it's like super cliche, but if you do things that you enjoy, it won't feel like a chore all of the time. And before you even realize it, you'll be in really high positions in those extracurriculars or in those activities. And you'll be like doing big things without even realizing it because you're just having fun at the end of the day. Wow, we're so excited to see Fong succeed in the future. Oh, the places that she'll go. It seriously seems like our students are constantly impressing us daily. Hey, you know another successful Bulldog? Mia Romero. Mia owns a small crystal business which has recently taken off. Vanessa Bias interviewed her about her journey. Here's a quick trailer into her spotlight. Uh, my name is Mira Romero and I'm a junior. I would say that my business started in 2020 when we were in quarantine and I just decided to make jewelry. My main piece of jewelry would be rings, but I also make necklaces, earrings, and bracelets. The crystals that I sell are amethyst, rose quartz, citrine, carnelian, and green dimension. I really enjoy just seeing their reactions and just seeing how happy they can be. Thanks, Vanessa, for that sneak peek on Mia's growing business. And again, for the full story, make sure to check it out on our Instagram at WCHS underscore digital media. We have one more thing for you guys. We want to wish a very happy birthday to our very own anchor, Andrew Vasquez, <laughs> and our floor manager, Kylie Chow. Oh, man. Hello, Kylie. Uh, wow, guys. This was not part of the script. <laughs> this was not part of the script, guys. Thank you. I know it's your birthday today. Uh, <laughs> wait. Oh, All right, thank you, Bulldogs. Yep, yep. And with that said, I'm your anchor, Andrew Vasquez. <laughs> and I'm your anchor, Andrea Salazar. We'll see you next time on <laughs> BNM. BNM.